Welcome to Get Married. I'm Colin Cowie. Creating your guest list is an important decision that requires careful consideration since it affects each and every aspect of your wedding planning and your budget. Today I'll show you how to choose who receives an invitation for your special day. And I'm Deanna Pappas. Your bridesmaids and groomsmen will not only be at your wedding, but in it, playing special roles from the planning to your grand exit. I'll tell you all the ways they're involved. Get ready, it's Get Married. I'm always telling my brides to inject their style into every element of the wedding day, but it's also important not to go overboard with the embellishments and putting them on every single surface. Sometimes less is more. So consider where they will have the most impact and then use them judiciously. GetMare.com and I have advice and inspiration for embellishing the different aspects of your day. Your guest list is the most essential item to check off your to-do list, and I suggest you do this as early as possible in the planning process because the number of people attending your wedding will determine everything from your location to the cost of the overall day. Cutting down the guest list, however, can prove to be quite difficult for the bride and groom. Deciding who to invite to your wedding can be a big source of bridal stress, so start with the basics, venue size and budget. Before you make your guest list, you have to know what's really doable. Don't decide anything else on your wedding until you find a location. Once you have the location, everything falls into place. Now once you know how many people you can invite, it's time to start your list. Make it a team effort. Have each party that's involved in the wedding, bride, groom, both sets of parents, make a list. Then you merge the list together. People you really want there in your heart definitely go on the yes list. And then have a maybe list that you're considering but you're not quite sure. And remember the 10% rule. If you are planning on inviting 200 people, you can invite say 220. You have a rule of 10% are not gonna come. After you complete your master list, more than likely you'll have to trim it down. But how? You really do need to weigh how much it means to you to have that person there. There are some family obligations that have to be made, especially when parents pay for the wedding. The wording on your invitation should let guests know exactly who is invited and whether your wedding is an adults-only event. But you may face the dilemma if someone wants to bring a guest you haven't budgeted for. There are occasions where people will call the bride and say, can I bring so-and-so? And then, you know, strictly it's up to the bride to decide whether or not to allow that. There are other etiquette questions to consider as well. For example, if you have a destination wedding, should you still invite people who you know cannot attend? Even if you know that person cannot attend, then you still need to send them that invitation to make them feel special. The bottom line when it comes to your guest list, try your best to be tactful and considerate. But in the end, remember this. It's your wedding, you can invite who you want to invite. You can find inspiration for your wedding day invitations on the invitation gallery on getmade.com. You've chosen your maid of honor and bridesmaids. Your groom's chosen as best man and groomsman. So now what? We all know what bridesmaids and groomsmen are, but what exactly do they do? Selecting your nearest and dearest friends and family to stand by your side as you say I do is a true honor. But what exactly is expected of them and how do you show your appreciation? The bride chooses her bridesmaids based on the history and the friendship that she has with them. Your maid of honor is responsible to be there and to just make sure that your calm on your wedding day. She's also the go-to person for the bachelorette parties and the bridal showers. And on the wedding day? During the ceremony, she handles the groom's ring, takes the bride's bouquet, and also arranges her bridal gown. So what exactly do the bridesmaids do? 
it would be helpful for the bride to use her bridesmaids in a constructive way. Perhaps one of the girls can be in charge of bringing all of her necessities to the hotel room for her to get ready. Another one can maybe carry her handbag for her and keep her makeup and the lipstick to help touch her up. Now, getting the guys involved is just as important. The best man, his responsibility is to make sure that the groom is arriving at the ceremony on time. He's the one in charge of doing the bachelor party, the person that the groom can confide in, the person that will fix the getaway car that the bride and groom will go away in. And the groomsmen? A lot of times they can be ushers at the ceremony, seating family. One of them can be in charge of picking up all of the tuxedos for the gentleman who couldn't do it if somebody is from out of town. And what if someone doesn't live up to their role in the wedding? You're going to have conflicts because you're dealing with people. You could just maybe go to a nice lunch and go shopping and say, hey, look, I really would like you to be more in charge. Be proactive and be positive so it won't be negative. And once all the hard work is said and done, be sure to say thanks. Pick that one gift that you know that they would love and know that it was from you. Your friends are your chosen family. So in the end, remember why you selected them to stand by you and show them your appreciation. For fashions for everyone in your wedding party, visit the gown gallery pages of GetMarried.com. And coming up next on Get Married, we'll see the exquisite bridal gown collection by Eugenia Couture and learn how to make your wedding chic with one of my tips. Next. Earlier, we saw what members of your bridal party do. Now I've got some tips for making them look chic on the wedding day from my book, Wedding Chic, which is filled to the brim with thousands of ideas to help inspire your wedding. It's been said many times before that comfort is key. And the saying holds true for your bridesmaid. You want to provide them with gown styles that will fit their body types, the season and formality of your wedding. A wonderful modern trend to appease your bridesmaids and to make them feel special and appreciated is to allow them to choose their own dresses in a colour that complements your palette and the gown style that flatters their body. After all, your tall lean bridesmaids won't be feeling as comfortable in the same silhouette as your shorter curvy bridesmaid. This trend will not only add style to the look of your bridal party, but will guarantee happy bridesmaids. You should also consider your bridesmaids bouquets. Remember, it's not just about the dress. Each accessory and detail lends itself to creating the overall look of your bridesmaids. Now for a summer wedding on the beach, use natural looking bouquets. Here, tropical leaves surrounding slipper orchids pop against summery hued bridesmaids' dresses. Or keep it understated, echo the sand with simple ecru lace and bring the natural earth-toned colours into the bouquets. Or create an intoxicating combination of drama and add romance by having your bridesmaids' gowns and bouquets in the same rich colour, such as deep red. Or take the elegance of your wedding to new heights. Have your bridesmaids don gloves as they carry cascades of dusty pink roses and variegated ivy. A great way to make your bridesmaids feel special is to give each of them their own personalized bouquet in your color palette, perhaps blooming with their own favorite flower. The important thing to remember is to coordinate the formality, style and colors of the bridesmaids' bouquets with the gowns. And don't forget your flower girl. She'll feel special and look gorgeous with a bright colored sash that perhaps matches the colors of the bridesmaids' gowns and adorn her with a beautiful crown made of flowers and ribbon. Give your flower girl a special basket to go with your theme, such as a giant seashell brimming with petals for a beach wedding. Now the wedding may be all about the bride, but these details will ensure your bridal party will look stunning and feel fabulous too. For more of my tips on having a fabulous wedding, check out my page on getmarried.com. And to get your very own autographed copy of my book, Wedding Chic, visit the shopping pages at getmarried.com. Exciting and different, dramatic and romantic, pieces of art. Just a few of the ways the gowns by Eugenia Couture have been described. Intrigued? We found out the inspiration behind this bridal collection. 
Greek designer Eugenia Faciliadis has made quite a splash on this side of the ocean with her Eugenia Couture bridal gowns. Offering brides American quality, Eugenia Couture gowns cater to ladies looking for Hollywood glam with a touch of European flair. Her design aesthetic, her sensibility is classic. Conservative, which is good for the American bride, but she adds a European twist to the way she drapes fabric and the ruching that she does. It's the sculpting of the fabric. She's an amazing artisan. And her artistic style? Eugenia has a variety of different design sensibilities from the slim sheath to the really, really over the top ball gown. I think that's why she's a designer because she loves so many different designs and styles and she's always trying to express them. Expressing the old Hollywood genre was key to this collection. People want to look glamorous. This particular collection uh, is inspired by the glamour, a lot of beadwork, but we also have kind of ethereal flow to the, the dresses, the garments themselves. A little bit softer fabrics. We used a lot of chiffon this season and just a nice flow to the fabrics. My favorite dress, I call it the Grace Kelly dress. It is definitely old Hollywood. It's the sheath, soft, tool that we used with Venice lace and crystal beadwork. It has this very elegant draping along the neckline and under the bust and just really chunky beadwork at the bust. And it's just the most flattering thing for any bride. It's a really nice fit. And for stunning silhouettes? I would say they're slimmer this season and we have some different necklines this season as well, not just strapless some wide boat necklines, just different variations. Or if you want to wear something a bit more daring down the aisle. We've been doing hand painting on our dresses for about 10 years now, but we tried to do something different this season with the hand painted rose appliques that we did. And we have an artist do this, actually hand done. So it's, it's a lot of work, uh, but your dress is gonna be one of a kind. Whether you wear a one of a kind gown or a Eugenia Couture collection piece, Hollywood might just be calling after your walk down the aisle. Find gowns by Eugenia Couture in the gown gallery on GetMarried.com. Don't go anywhere. There's more to come on Get Married. We'll see how a wedding theme can tie your entire wedding together from start to finish next. In some areas, and for some brides, sticking to proper etiquette on your wedding day is important. But often, brides and grooms are uncertain what convention considers to be proper. We sat down with Peggy Post of the esteemed Emily Post Institute to help answer some of the most commonly asked wedding etiquette questions. When it comes to weddings, there's certain etiquette that's tradition to follow, but even the oldest rules in the book can change. Only 27% of couples these days have their weddings paid for the traditional way, meaning that the parents pay for most everything, the, and that means the bride's parents pay for most everything. The groom's parents traditionally will pay for the honeymoon and uh, the rehearsal dinner, and then the bride's parents traditionally pay for that the big reception. So it's almost 50% of the budget. However, these days, couples will often pay for their weddings, either the whole wedding or part of the wedding. Tradition still does dictate the etiquette of thank you notes, but with a few new twists. Thank the person for the gift, and then if they've come to your wedding, say we're so glad you're able to come to our wedding. If it's before the wedding, we look forward to seeing you, hope you can join us. And the outset is within three months of receiving a gift, you need to write that note. But it's considered bad form to include where to buy those gifts and your invitation. So many people find it offensive, and, not, and it's not even a generational thing, it's across generations to open up an invitation and immediately be hit with, this is uh, our wedding invitation and it's about gifts for us. It puts so much emphasis on gifts and away from, here's our invitation, we really hope you can join us. The way to get the word out about registries is by word of mouth. So keep these rules of proper etiquette in mind for your walk down the aisle and you'll have an air of decorum at your wedding for you and all your guests. So discovering what's considered proper etiquette can be tough. And creating a personalized look for your wedding day can feel the same way. But as Jean M showed us, whether it's the programs or favors, 
When it comes to making it personal, it's all about the details. Every bride wants to create that wow factor with her wedding. So how exactly can you make your wedding day stand out? By paying attention to the details. The details will make your wedding day unique and personal and will tie every element of the celebration together beautifully. You can personalize your wedding right from the start by sending save the dates to everyone on your guest list as soon as you've set the date. Sending save the dates will allow guests ample time to make plans to attend your wedding and will get them excited for your big day. Choose a save the date that will set the tone for your wedding and express your personalities. Save the dates often reflect the style of the invitation to come, but don't be afraid to mix and match your save the date and invitation styles. For instance, you could send a fun and trendy save the date card and follow it up with a formal invitation. Color is another way to add wow to your wedding. Go with bright, bold colors that will dazzle guests and set a festive tone for your celebration. Or choose neutral, classic colors like black, cream, white or brown and add a punch of color like lime, fuchsia, red or blue for impact and surprise. Seasonal weddings are a wonderful way to make your celebration unique and memorable. For instance, you can plan your wedding in winter and create a winter wonderland look for your ceremony and reception. Bring in traditional reds and greens or use icy blues and silver for a fresh look. There are so many fun details you can add to your winter wedding decor to make it special. Elegant white unity candles for the ceremony, sparkling champagne flutes with snowflake accents, and accessories like menu cards, place cards, favor boxes, and more printed with coordinating snowflake designs. Personalization is key to making a wedding special, and designs are a fantastic way to do it. You can choose designs that coordinate with your location and then personalize any items for your wedding. And you don't have to stick to one design. You can use different designs within a coordinating theme to add more fun details to your day. Programs are a great place to bring in the design to show your attention to detail and create a personal look. You can also bring your wedding colors into your programs with the paper, ink, and even ribbon. Colorful, personalized napkins for your cocktail hour or reception are an excellent opportunity to add some personal touches. You can get them in your wedding colors and personalize them with a design that matches your wedding style. You can also get creative with napkins. A great idea is to create a signature drink for your wedding reception, and then have the drink printed on the napkins for a fun touch. And don't forget about the favors. These are your final opportunity to bring your details into your wedding. A nice idea is to add personalized ribbon around your favor boxes or add a special tag with a personal message to your guests. Just remember, when it comes to designing a wedding your guests are sure to never forget, it's all about the details. You can find all of these items and more by Jean M in the invitation gallery on GetMarried.com. Stay right there, we've got more to come on Get Married. Jean Anderson is going to show you how you could win thousands of dollars of great Jean M items for your wedding, next. what's hot right now for weddings, the Gene M Bride Search. The 2010 Gene M Bride Search is a chance for one lucky bride to win $4,000 of Gene M products for her wedding. She's gonna receive a full day consultation with me and my staff. Her wedding will be featured on the Gene M website and in the Gene M catalog, and the bride's wedding will be featured right here on Get Married's OMG My Wedding Is On TV segment. To enter, all you have to do is go to the GNM website, mygnm.com, create a short video, and explain to us why you want to be the GNM bride. And in the video, be creative, have fun doing it, and tell us all your plans, your dreams, and how you're going to use the GNM products for your wedding.
and visitors to the Genome site will be able to vote on the video they like best. During the consultation, the bride will meet with me and my staff and we'll go over all of the product options that she has from the save the dates to the invitations to the favors to reception ideas. We'll help her with her personalization, her color choices, and anything for her wedding and even after the consultation, we'll help her with advice all the way up through her wedding day. Past Bride Search winners have said the consultation was the best part of the entire experience. They found it very valuable. We were so helpful. We take what their ideas are and we make them bigger and we help them narrow down exactly what they want for their wedding. It's so very exciting that the GNM Bride Search winner will be featured on the GNM site, on the GNM catalog, and on Get Married. The contest begins on Valentine's Day and ends on April 13th. I'm so excited about the contest and I can't wait to see all the video entries and I'm sure that the bride is just gonna love everything that she gets from GNM. To enter the bride search, visit mygenem.com between Valentine's Day, February 14th and April 13th. Having trouble deciding on your guest list? Want other brides input on bridesmaids dresses you've chosen? Share all your questions, concerns, and opinions with brides just like you on Get Married's Blogger Brides. Get Married's Blogger Brides is the online community that connects you with other brides and our team of acclaimed star bloggers. Make friends, chat, follow my blog, and get some great ideas. All on Get Married's Blogger Brides. I'm Colin Cowie. We'll see you right here next time.